Welcome to this tutorial which introduces Flight Sim World's Pro Mission Editor, or PME. First I'm going to take you through the steps needed to set up a simple mission flying from one airport to another. Then I'll introduce PME's graphic user interface which uses various windows for editing. Lastly, I'll use PME to explain the components of the mission diagram. First off, we fire up PME. We're going to use the New Mission Wizard to make a simple mission. So click on Create a Basic Tutorial Mission. Click Next. And the wizard allows us to select a flight plan or simply Airport to Airport. Click Next. Now we enter the starting location, which in this tutorial is Alderney in the Channel Islands. So select United Kingdom as country. And select Alderney. We'll position the aircraft on the runway. So select runway 13 as the start point and then click Next. Now we set the destination airport. Country is already selected so open up the City drop-down menu and select Jersey. And then click Next. Now we set the date and time that the mission starts. 4th of July, around 12 o'clock. And we'll choose the weather conditions. We'll set theme and clear skies as it's a tutorial. And then click Next. Next we select our aircraft. I like twins, so I'm going to select the Piper PA-34. But you can choose whichever aircraft is available. And click Next. Lastly, we save the mission in the My Missions folder. And the wizard names it Wizard Mission 1. Note the mission title, Fly from Alderney to Jersey. And the description, Take off in a Piper PA-34 Seneca 5 from Alderney Airport and fly to Jersey Airport, generated with FSW Mission Editor. Click Next and Finish. PME now displays a confusing number of windows, each showing a specific view of your mission. I'll quickly identify each window. Top left is the Mission Overview window, and below it, the Recent Edits window. For basic mission editing, you can deselect these windows from the PME display, and I'll show you how to do that um, shortly. The top center window is where your mission is displayed as a diagram of interconnecting modules. This is the most useful window for mission editing, and we'll deal with this in more detail later. To the right of the mission diagram is a map showing where the various modules are situated physically. Again, this may be deselected for basic mission editing. Top right is the action palette from which you select the modules that make up your mission. Below it is the attributes window in which you specify each module's parameters. Both of these windows are integral to editing, so will nearly always be displayed. The bottom window is used to display various lists, including errors, dialogues, comments, and debug data. We can often dispense with this window OK, let's simplify the PME display by removing some of the windows. First, the overview. 
On the toolbar, select Windows and deselect Overview. And do the same for Recent Edits. Click Windows and deselect Recent Edits. The Mission Diagram area expands, which is what we want. Now let's take out the map. As before on the toolbar, click Windows and deselect Map. Now the area below it is where the Find function is. We can remove that by simply clicking the X. Removing the Find function reveals the sets of lists. So let's take out the list of errors, the list of dialogues, the list of debug events, and lastly the list of comments. We now have a larger area for displaying the various modules in the mission diagram. We can decrease the resolution by pressing the minus sign so we can see the whole of the diagram. We can bring the resolution back up and then move around the diagram as necessary, as you can see here. So, you now have the minimum number of windows needed for mission editing. If you need any of the other windows that we've um, removed, then you can call them up from the toolbar edit or windows menu, such as this. If we want the find, we can bring that back and remove it, or if we want the map, we can find that as well and bring that up, and if we don't want it, we can remove it again. By the way, this tutorial video is made in HD format, that is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Your monitor will most likely be larger than this, so you will get much better definition for your editing. OK, let's take a quick look at the modules that make up our mission diagram for the flight from Alderney to Jersey. The first module is a timer trigger, which gives the player a few seconds to see that the mission has started. After three seconds, the dialogue action module tells the player that he is ready to take off. Below the dialogue action is an object activation action, which activates a property trigger set to trigger when the player's aircraft reaches an altitude of 200 feet. When this occurs, the property trigger then enables three further modules. First, a dialogue action informs the player that they have reached 200 feet and can fly around and then land at Jersey Airport. This, remember, is the objective of the mission. Below this, a second object activation action activates an airport landing trigger, which will trigger when the player lands successfully at Jersey Airport. The third module is a point of interest activation action module which activates a point of interest at Jersey Airport. This point of interest module enables the display of a POI rotating arrow visible to the player and which directs them towards the airport's location. Note that the airport's world coordinates are specified in the rectangle area module connected to the POI. Above the POI module is the airport landing trigger mentioned just now. This is triggered when the aircraft stops on the runway at Jersey after a successful landing. The dialogue action then informs the player of their successful landing. The airport landing trigger also activates a goal resolution action, which completes the basic mission by activating the mission goal. In the next tutorial video, I'll show you how to use PME to extend the mission to include further dialogues, points of interest, proximity triggers, and so on, and also how to position library objects. 
Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again.